Hello, and welcome to episode five of our series, Come With the Light and Reveal, where every Wednesday we're gonna be discussing some of the beautiful stained glass artwork that you see throughout our sanctuary at NoHo First. And today we have the story of St. James for you. James and his brother John were collectively known as the sons of Zebedee, and they were some of Jesus's earliest followers. Jesus invited James, together with John and Peter, to be with him at the Transfiguration. James was also one of the disciples who kept watch while Jesus went and prayed in the Garden of Gethsemane. But no matter how long James followed Jesus, he didn't always grasp Christ's lessons. He was known for his temper so much, in fact, that he and his brother were also nicknamed the Sons of Thunder not a name that you give to someone with an even-keeled, cool attitude. There was actually one time when the Samaritans would not welcome Jesus, and James suggested that he should make fire rain down from heaven and consume them. Another time, he and his brother approached Jesus and asked for honored seats on either side of him in the kingdom of heaven. And Jesus had to explain that such an honor is not meant to be a gift. It's something that is to be earned. If you want to be great, then you must first provide great service. But James did finally learn the lesson of service. His ministry wasn't for very long. He only lived for about 11 years after the resurrection. But in that time, he spread Jesus's message of love across Europe and into Spain. The Bible that he holds in our stained glass window is a tribute to the lessons that he shared. The image shows him with the equipment of a pilgrim. The hook on his staff holds a pilgrim's bottle made from a gourd. There are also scallop shells on the other side of James's painting. They symbolize James and his pilgrimages. Tradition identifies Compostela on the coast of Spain as the final resting place and tomb of St. James. Medieval pilgrims came to Compostela from Northern Europe, England, and France. They collected a scallop shell from the beach as a souvenir of their journey. Three scallop shells shown in this window also stand for the Trinity. In the Trinity, there are three persons of God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. This window of St. James and the tribute to his story was lovingly dedicated in October 1962 in memory of Latella W. Blanchard, given by Roscoe W. Blanchard Sr., their family, and their friends. Thank you so much for joining us for our Come With the Light and Reveal, Episode 5. Please join us next week, and we'll see you on Sunday as well, where we take in the Word of God under the watchful eye of our beautiful stained glass guardians. Thank you.